so in this video we are going to see how we can use create by association or how we can work with create by association in unmanaged scenario let's see what create by association means at a high level we have already seen this concept in our eml series as well if you haven't gone through those videos i would highly recommend you to watch those videos for better understanding so create by association is mainly used when there is a need to create one instance based on the another instance for example in our used case student and result we have two different uh, entities available which are connected through the association student and result create by association is mainly used when uh, there are different dependent entities another example we can take header table of order and the item table another important point when this kind of uh, creation is used when there is an association between the two entities and it is specifically in case of composition so this type of creation is used when there is an association and specifically in case of composition so what composition is uh, when there are different entities which are dependent onto one another for example like student and result student can exist without the result but a result cannot exist without the attached student so those kind of connection or association we call them as composition so for the existence of any one entity another entity must be in the existence so in this type of scenario create by association is very important because entity linked with composition cannot exist alone when we were working with uh, managed scenario system was taking care all of these things when uh, we were creating an association we have created similar kind of application there as well we have created association between student and result currently we are seeing unmanaged scenario so we need to write each and every code now let's see how technically we can achieve this create by association using unmanaged scenario we have our application already running if we click on create button we see two different sections here one is for student which we have already coded to save this record that is already working we have already seen early numbering for student entity and the second section is a result section which also contains some of the columns which we will be updating soon but when we are creating this result entity with along with the student entity we also need to have a key field generated for this table as well just like we did for student entity if we go to our code here and go to our class here what we have is uh, early numbering create and for association we have read by association result which will be used to read the association data now create by association result this is the one method which we will be writing the code into and we also have a early numbering create by association results so this is what the first method which we need to implement this is needed for creating the primary key which is auto generate number just like we have for student let's see the table once so result unmanaged and this is what the key is guid key and which is not null so early numbering for create by association will be used to fill up this field so let's do that now very first thing which we do is get the method details press f2 and copy 
Now let's go to our API class. Let's write the code here quickly. The very first parameter is type table of and the results. So very first thing, delete all of these which are not required here. Create by association result. Do we have a type created for this? No, we do not have. Let's create a type here. Import type and then tt underscore create by association results. Copy. create by association results and type this is done now what are all others we tt underscore mapped early we already have then tt underscore failed early also we have and uh, tt underscore reported early also we have so, comma now let's implement this method implement early numbering we have got our method here and let's activate now our class api class and method got activated here now let's start writing code quickly very first thing which we need to understand here is how the structure is for this method let's press f2 here and if you see here we are getting the same entity we have three changing mapped failed and reported now in the entities this is of type create by association result which we have defined now okay if you click here you will see this entity is somewhat different type now we have got cid reference then is draft then the primary key here and then a new parameter which is percentage target so this target is referring to the association table in our case it's a result table if you see here type table of create association so whatever values coming from the front end will be available to us in this parameter and we need to get the values from this parameter and then save it if you go here then see percentage target and it has the same cid is draft and then all of the fields which are available in the structure of result set along with that we also have control parameter or the control structure this will be used when we will be updating the record we have seen this control parameter or control structure in our previous video when we have updated the student record this is the same parameter which we are getting here so now we will be working with this target new parameter let's see how we can use this now very first thing is as always we need to create a unique key and uh, for that let's create a local parameter new result id and this will have get next id which will generate a unique guid number for the result now the next thing is we have entity field as an importing so we will be reading all of these what's coming so for that loop at entities and assigning field symbol lfs underscore entities 
and loop now the next thing is uh, since we are uh, running create by association we also need to pass the values in the target table which we have seen right so this target table we need to fill the value in this structure the minimum things which we need to fill here is our primary key which we have already generated here new result id this will go in this and then this is our cid then is draft field so these are mandatory field which we need to pass whenever we are working with the create operation that's a best practice so we will be passing these three fields into this structure now let's do it now the target is inside the entity so what we are going to do here is let's run loop at and see percentage target we are getting here then assigning field symbol lfs underscore let's call it result create and loop now we just need to update the values for the result in mapping table so how we do it we have already done the same thing for student so let's take it from here and paste but this time we need to update these value for result set and let's change the field symbol and done let's activate so create by association is done activated and now let's call this method we need to call this method in early numbering create by association results method and how we call we call through our class see we got all of these things entity then mapped failed and reported everything is now done let's run the application and see if it works double click and uh, okay so our at least application is running now click on create we got our id here let's put some details student age course course duration student is active now let's click on this create button and uh, what the expectation is we should see a key generated for the id of result set so let's click on create see we got our student id generated here and this is what we have written the code create by association and we have got our student id auto generate so in our next video we are going to see how we can collect all of these values and save these value along with the student header table that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you